Friends, it's Anita. So this week has been weird. Like, seriously, I started projects and was not successful at it. I started Missy's blanket, but I think I picked the wrong yarn. So I wasn't happy with it. I did the first 10 rows with this cotton blend ice cream yarn from a clearance I got, I think, two years ago. And I'm just not feeling it. So the pattern is nice. It's simple. It's easy. It's just a repeat row. But I did the first 10 rows and I don't like how the color worked up, so it's parked. Most likely it's gonna get frogged. We'll see. And then I took my whole bag with me. I need a bag that I got from Mara to work with me every day, hoping to get a pickle or something or a flower started. I just wasn't feeling it. And then yesterday, I came home with the intention to start Springs uh, double something. Her last beanie she just did with the double link crochet. For whatever reason, I just started my burst of kindness. Maybe it's just a habit. I don't know. So I did that. And I was working on it. Working on it. And then I was like, maybe I'll just do the burst of kindness and then do spring's pattern. But then I got confused at where I was at. I did the 60 count like her hat does. But the brain was saying... Just do the combing ghost stitch because I'm used to doing that and it's it's easy, it's fun. But it was just so tight on my head and I wanted it to be a little bit bigger and work up a little bit faster. So I went from a six all the way to a ten. <laughs> I was saying that with this bigger hook, it was harder to get on the top of the front 
excuse you, the front loop of the cluster stitch. So, of course, this little brain was thinking, how can I get four stitches? So instead of going into the top of the stitch with this, I just did a front post. I think it's a front post around the cluster, like the whole cluster stitch. Yeah. And I kind of like it better, so I don't know. Just make the pattern your own. Okay, I finished it and let's try it on. Let's see. Like I said, if it fits me, it'll fit a kid. Well, a teenager. <laughs> but there it is. My first of kindness commingo stitch. Uh, improvised and I did the brim a little bit differently this time and added this uh, stitch here as well as up here but yeah I think that's I'm gonna grab all the hats and do a final count because I'm just gonna look for all the hats that I need for KK I did use three hooks, so a 5.5, a 6, and a 10. And I did use this clearance yarn, which I still have all of this left from <laughs> Hobby Lobby. This is the soft stitch in the color olive which I really like and this is 210 yards I say that's enough to make another headband or something I don't know something small or maybe a pickle I'll make a pickle with the rest of this I mean an olive colored pickle yes why not so yeah, that's it, that's all, I'm gonna go collect all the hats and then show you where I'm at my final count. Yeah, I'll see you guys around in a little bit. Okay, I had to push you back. Do not mind the mess. Anyway, I figured, I said, where do my hats go? So I'm just gonna put them on, make sure they fit me, and then we'll come that way, yeah? This is the other beret I did, but in blue. <laughs> I already lost count, so what are you guys counting? This one is one of the first ones I did. This is just with a, a mini bean stitch. I like this color. Look at their, they all have the burst of kindness. Burst of kindness. Bursting with kindness. Okay. OMG, this one I found uh, in one of my totes that I had. This was one of the hats I made with Jeannie from Butterfly dreams crochet when she had a beanie crochet along 
and this was actually uh, B's a pattern. Llama B. It used to be still the show. I don't know B's, you know. And I remember doing. You could probably see this one in the tour. I did like a button that attached to it to attach the pom pom. There's that one. This one, I was playing, trying to do the, it started as a headband, and then I was like, there's way too much yarn left on this, so let's go ahead and just make it into, like, a turban type thing. <laughs> this is my turban hat. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. I like it. What do you think? Because I put a goal of making 40 hats for KK. So this year alone, I think I made probably about 20 hats. I don't know. We'll see. I honestly, I don't even know where I'm at. But this is the hat that Spring made with the hand spun and black yarn. It was really hard to work with, but this is a nice hat. I had my three camo, my, my one camo stitch, and my breast of kindness. What did I use for this? Probably double and singles. Oh, this is one of my first uh, co-mingo stitch when we first came up with the pattern. I started with three because it was Jeannie, me, and Cynthia did the pattern. And then we went down to two and then went down to one, like three, two, one. There's that one. Then there I have this big chunky hat. I forget what yarn this was, but it's one of those cakes that, oh, this is, I remember I was trying to learn the star stitch, so I did the star stitch, and of course all of these wouldn't be washed before I sent them out, but yeah, this one was a bit slouchy. This is a big chunky one. Did there scrap yarn? Basically, I took all the, the balls of blues that I had and just added them together. I caked them and then I, you know, this looks like it's with the crunch stitch. Yeah. First of kindness and then crunch stitch. And then my three camo stitches there's that one there's a lot of hats in here I think this might be like the head stitch because I see front post back post lines I don't know we'll try it out this one's kind of less a bigger head. It's pretty slouchy, but I did see that there was a string that needs to be weaved in. I'll do that later. Yeah, these are the hag stitch. I was on a hag stitch uh, kick for a little bit. First of kindness. white this one too is with the button inside so you can uh, take the pom pom off to wash the hat which I shall do and this one is I don't remember what stitches was but this was a pattern that I bought which I don't remember now uh, just the the body part this is still 
Or maybe it is somebody's full pattern. I don't know. Is that one? This is, I, I don't think this is my pattern. No, because it doesn't have the burst of kindness. This is one of my earlier days hats. Maybe this one was Springs and the other one was, uh, what's his name? Willy Nilly Knits. Oh no, this is Willy Nilly Knits because this is more reds than pink. And I remember putting a tag on there. That guy is so funny. You, sh you guys should go check him out if you haven't seen him yet. I put this here so I know what size it's a part. But there's a uh, beanie that I made. You know what? I'm really feeling beanies. Seriously. I'm like <laughs> all headed out. And I'm, I still have a whole thing left to go. So let's try this one on. This, is, this one is a bit slouchy as well all right so this one did serve with the burst of kindness but I think I was doing this one with the uh, Nisi because it's the autism awareness month and I did have a uh, what do you call these things a stopper that I bought from an Etsy store. What's her name? I forget what her name was, but it's red and yellow for gold and red for Autism Awareness Month. And this is with, I don't know what stitch, half doubles maybe? It's like, what is Waldo? Oh, this is with the the feather stitch. This is one that I made this year, roughly about with the burst of kindness. I'm posing like I'm gonna take pictures of myself. This one is a hat that I made um, from Denine's uh, pattern. It's actually something you could put your like a bun on but it's also it's like a makeshift uh, pom pom as well yeah this is Denine's pattern this is one of the makes that I made with when yarn hookers was around so really you girls that wear, you know, the buns on the head, at the top of the head. My hair tight's usually down here. So, this is another one. This one got a lot of wear out of me because it has my Hanai uh, tag on here. This is hand dyed yarn that I got from somebody off of Etsy and I love this one I don't know you might not get all my hats I think this one is a cobblestone stitch this also has a hat I hate on there as well and it didn't start with the uh, birth of kind of this before these are the hats that I made for myself for hat night This bag's overflowing. Yeah, another feather stitch hat. This stitch was actually really fun to do. This one looks like a 
scrap yarn hat too. Looks like all the little balls of yarn that I didn't have. Nothing is wasted. This is the halo yarn. Now this one is a little tight. I feel like I've already watched this a few times. <laughs> and that's why it's a little tight. Let's just stretch it out better. Oh look. I still have a tail. Did it leave me? Let's just snip that. Let's hope that it is. Wait, let unravel or whatever. Oh yeah, this one's a little snug. But it works! This is the halo yarn. Remember those one that came in the big tubes? That's what this one is. Yeah, this is one that I purchased. It did come with a big pom-pom with like an eyeball. But I don't know what I did with it. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I know. It doesn't have like a button or anything. But it's, look at the message on that. Be kind. This is more like a slouchy hat. But yeah, kind, be kind. And it hurt, she had a handmade tag on there that says, had not hate as well. So there we go, that's one. That's it, the bag is empty. Did you like the fashion show? that I took of me in the hat and I only have 29 I swear I got her more than that so instead of trying to find the remaining because I thought I only needed to do nine more but I don't obviously I need to do 11 more so I'm gonna attempt Springs hat one more time and I'm gonna follow the directions I'm already there, halfway there. I'm on row, I'm in the four stitches. So, 40, and I got two more rows, and then I'm gonna turn her video back on and do it. Each one, pause, do the stitch, pause. <laughs> That's how I usually roll. I watched the first time around, it looks easy. And then when I go to do it, it doesn't work out that way. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to get back to this. I hope you guys were not bored to tears with all of my trying on the hats. I got to get 11 more completed hats. And then I can wash it and ship it out to KK. Let me get back to this before I miscount and then mess up somewhere and I end up frogging it again. Got to row seven. And so I'm gonna work this up and hopefully I don't mess this head up. 
and I have Spring on the TV. She's paused right now. I mean the computer. She's paused right now, but I'm gonna get the tap right. It's so funny. It's quiet. I need to have some background music or something. Watch her instructions. She's on pause. Got to row nine, but it takes a little bit more focus because it is a stitch that I've seen multiple times but never actually physically did it. And it's really so clear. I think I'm doing it.